Howdy folks, hope y'all are doing well. So today we're gonna to be out here taking a look at this Typhoon X-12. This is kind of an AR style shotgun. This is made by Dar Daria Arms. I, I know I'm not pronouncing that right. I don't speak Turkish. It is Turkish made. Uh, 18 and a half inch barrel, gas operated. You got three inch chamber, so you, sh you can shoot three or two and three quarter shells out of here. You got a 70, 75 aluminum receiver, uh, steel barrel. Mostly the rest of it is polymer. You got some AR style controls here, like your safety selector, your bolt release, your mag release. Mag release is not swappable. It looks to be that the safety selector may be, the bolt handle is not. So we're gonna be shooting this a little bit today, just taking a look at it. Uh, this belongs to a friend of mine. He uses this for hog hunting. For, that's why he has the optic on there. And I'd say it's probably pretty effective for that. Reviewed the TriStar KRX recently, and uh, he offered to loan me this to review. So here we go with another Turkish shotgun. I'm gonna start off nice and easy. Just put some of these Monarch high velocity uh, wing and clay through it and get a feel for it. And we're gonna come back later with some buckshot. So just starting out here and take a few shots, run a little bit of this, make sure everything functions fine. And then we'll check, check out some buckshot. All right, function great. What are you trying to hit? Lock back, I was just shooting into the berm. Okay. Lock back like it's supposed to. Unlike the TriStar, the mag's drop free. Let's, uh, I will say this has a little more recoil than the uh, TriStar though. The TriStar is a little bit softer. So let's run some buckshot through here and see. All right, so on this one, we're gonna be running some Monarch double op buck. Two and three quarter inch, nine pellets. Velocity at 1345. Well, we had a little bit of a malfunction there. So, failure to eject there. Got two more rounds here, let's just uh, finish this off. Lock back like it's supposed to, all good. Mag drops free. Okay. All right, here we go with a little bit more buckshot. I've got some two liter bottles down here. We're just gonna blast at those real quick. No more two liters. Awesome. All right, lock back. This functions really well. We had the one little hang up, uh, just failure to eject. It got kind of hung up in there. Other than that, this thing has ran great. Like I said, a little bit more recoil than the, uh, the KRX I tested before, but uh, still pretty manageable. Gas operated are super nice for that. All right, folks, so that's what I got for you on the Typhoon Defense X-12 shotgun. Now. The only thing that really bothered me is Roman numerals in my brain. It, it would be the Typhoon 12, not the X-12. So that's a little weird, but that's just my crazy brain. I'm thinking Roman numerals, no, it'd either be the X-12 or the X-2. If you wanted to call the X uh, letter and the other two numbers. At any rate, that's neither here nor there. The shotgun ran fine, uh, ran the bird loads, ran the buckshot just fine. I put about 50 rounds through it all together and I had the one failure to eject. My buddy has told me he's had a few of those as well. So not 100% reliable, but pretty reliable if you get one in 50 rounds, not bad. Uh, he is using it to clear hogs off his property and it's very functional for that. And uh, I'd say good for home defense. It ran the buckshot just fine. It's pretty easy to manage. The controls are very familiar being AR controls. You do have a ample amount of pick rail there to put optics or lights or whatever you want on. So that's pretty good. Uh, MSRP being 599, it's a little high for me, but I have seen them on sale 
for much less than that. And even I checked a couple days ago on Gun Broker and I found some new for like $400 or so. And I, to me, that would be a pretty good value. The 600 may be a little high for me. I have a Maverick 88 that runs great. Now it's not semi-auto, but it runs great and I paid a lot less for that. And I recently picked up something which will be coming up soon on a video for way less than that and it ran reliably as well. So stay tuned for that. But that's what I got for you today on the Typhoon X12. Y'all stay safe out there. I will see you next time I make a video.